дух guys it's a great day to be out in the woods on the farm so I just decided to do that exciting thing we have today we have another Lancaster unboxing on a uh, different scene uh, on a pretty cool product I, actually I don't re I really don't know how cool it is it actually could it be cool but because uh, I haven't opened it yet so we're gonna get out here uh, find a pretty cool spot and take a look at it open it up and See what we got. So this is kind of unconventional for an unboxing, but um, I figured it'd be good to do it um, in a scene where this product is actually going to be used. So many stickers. stickers. Okay. So we have the all new, I think it's new, Spy Point VZN Solar Cellular Trail Camera. Say that 10 times fast. It has this like very industrial like plastic box that almost is good as glass. All right, but first, let's go ahead and open up this beast. Small plug. Very user-friendly, look at that. Okay, so now that we have it open, we have in my hand the all-new. Look at this cool antenna right here. This thing is just, look how, look how bad that thing looks. Just the initial open up. Oh, look how bad that thing looks, holy cow. All in the package so far, we have the trail camera. This thing that fell off when I opened the box, I don't know what that is. Um, the strap, charging cord, and then we still have this to open. Oh, and then we have some instructions right here that I probably won't read. Luckily, I was smart and I grabbed batteries beforehand. Check out how cool this is to open up the battery. Oh, that is just so nice. I just realized that uh, I don't have another memory card. So let's just, uh, just, just pause and... Welcome back. Exciting news. I have an SD card now. First thing, let's put in the SD card. There's just the SD card slot right here. And uh, just. So first thing they want you to do is to go to your app store and download the all new Spy Point Link app. And once you have the app downloaded, it'll prompt you with a few things to connect your camera. It's super easy, I just connected it and it sends you an email with your brand new password that you can go in later and change. Just to connect it, it's super easy. You scan an actual barcode that pops up on the camera screen. You have to dig in the settings a little bit. So once you're in the app, you can go ahead and actually change all of the settings like delay, sensitivity, the camera mode, and it'll actually link up with the camera and change those settings for you. What's going on guys? Welcome back. So we're back out here today and it was so hot today in Michigan. It was like 95 degrees. So I waited all the way until right at last light. We got like hour left, left, left of light. And I have the new Spy Point Link S with me. 
and I drove out to a very popular spot on our on the farm that we hunt and I found corridor just one trail one trail food plot that's unplanted yet and then another trail right here and then just about 30 yards this way um, is a bean field that's now planted that's coming up it's about four inches four inches tall right now so we're gonna get this thing set up um, it's really simple once we already went through the process of setting it up we just simply put it on the tree um, turn it on click camera and then it'll count down from 30 seconds that it's ready to rock so let's go ahead and get it set up So that's set up now. Actually, I need to cut some of these branches right here. Super important that we don't have anything that's gonna trigger like this, the camera. I already have photo, look at this. I already have photos transmitted. So that's how quick it is, guys, when you have it set up, intermediate, and mosquitoes are crazy. When you have it set up, so automatic transfer, I'm just gonna get tick marks just all the time of photos sending to my phone. And that's so, so cool. Several days later. Welcome back. So we were able to put the spy point camera out in the woods for a couple days and actually get a real field test on it. And it's back now and um, I really don't have any complaints about it. Battery life is phenomenal so what I ended up doing was I did the internal battery. I charged it for like 48 hours it recommended. It didn't take a full 48 hours to fully charge but I think I left it on the charger for a full day. And then I also put in the AA batteries um, I just wanted to see what would happen and they're both still at full strength. It was out in the woods for four days, which isn't long at all, but typically you see like a little decrease in maybe like one tick bar or something. So literally once I got it synced up, th there were some initial issues with trying to figure it out, but it was on my end. I should have known better, but besides that, they all transferred to my phone. Every single time I got an image, I was literally in my bed 11 o'clock at night just scrolling through my phone and I would get notifications that I was taking photos and was sending me straight to my cell phone which is crazy I have to say if you want a Maserati as a camera that is just <laughs> pretty awesome <laughs> this is definitely high up on the list um, so breaking down kind of how it works it does cost money to have the service of sending it straight to your phone we open up the spy point app or spy point link app and i've been running on their free plan or their like free trial plan but they do offer a free plan but it's really nothing it says 100 photos per month and you should get a lot more photos than just 100 per month so you almost can't use that full service 250 photos a month it's five dollars and then like the most popular version is fifteen dollars a month and that's unlimited photos and they have a better one which i really don't know what the upgrade from that is maybe you can like track different bucks and stuff but that's 25 dollars a month so you do have to pay for this service um but it, again if you already bought the camera you're pretty much gonna want this service so these are all the photos on my phone right here you just open up the app and it sorts them by day you can just click on one it full screens it and then you can just swipe right through them I did notice though that the quality on that isn't superb it's still really really good um, but again it saves to the SD card and then you can get full clear images um, but again I mean I'm super happy and thrilled about the new spy point link s LTE cellular trail camera so thank you for watching this multi-day series right in the field test. I literally unboxed it, threw it together, threw it out there and got some pictures and actually got a picture of a pretty nice buck on it. So 
I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, I'm actually going to be giving away this trail camera um, probably in the next few days after you see this video. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Chris B. Real, and I will be announcing it on that page. But if you want to win this straight up, me send it to you. Um, no anything, just big thank you to Lancaster Archery for allowing me to unbox products like this, give you an honest review of them, and real life view. I mean, there's mud all over this thing because I threw it in the back of the gator and ripped out of the woods one day. So. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram to try to win this thing. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.